Hey guys, it's Louise here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have season two, episode three. I got it right this time of Good Omens. Uh, I'm really excited to continue on with this show. Uh, it's like after midnight now and I'm like, I need to stop and go to bed, but also I want to watch more. Uh, it would be so much easier if I didn't do reactions to this, but I feel like the reactions are going to be worth it, possibly, potentially. I don't know at this point. We'll see. But yeah. Uh, we've just witnessed uh, Aziraphale tell his lie for the first time. Um, I mean, it was many, many years ago, but still. Um, and now he's, I think, off to Edinburgh. And I absolutely love Edinburgh, so I'm excited to see if uh, where this goes. And I'm excited to see if Crowley actually goes with him. Because he did tell Crowley to stay in the bookshop and look after Gabriel, or sorry, Jim. Um, but Crowley doesn't want Aziraphale driving his car. So they're going to have a little date together in Edinburgh, hopefully. So let's get into it. Oh, that's nice. Somebody's got a sense of humour or an interesting kink. Either way, puts a smile on your face. Last one, double Americano with oat milk and hazelnut syrup. Hello, hello, hello. What's all this then? Good morning, officer. Yes, exactly. I'm a human police officer. Hmm. I thought you probably were. Did you? Really? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> well, you're right. I am one. She's so Enjoy. precious. How can I help you? I always say the best part of a cup of tea is looking at it. <laughs> cup of tea. This is ridiculous. Why don't you just go by train? You love trains. Who's this now? Hello, hello, hello. Tell me, Constable. Inspector. Oh, no, you're blood red. That's a constable. Inspector Constable. That's my name. Of course it is. <laughs> They're all so funny. Their grasp of humans is just so yes. ridiculous. It's amazing, isn't it? Just to... Word with you, Angel, in private. supposed to observe you but don't worry we can always tell you everything we talked about afterwards oh, great <laughs> thanks please i just want to put her in my pocket and keep her safe forever oh she's not gonna get very much observing done is she i'm very much afraid that that angel out there will establish very quickly that i find to heaven about you Right, well, we just need to get Nina to do the love thing with Meg. <laughs> to do well, the love thing. Good. I have a plan. Excellent. Can I have the car keys? Oh, you want to hear my plan? Or, you know, go by train? Car keys, please. You can only tell if people are in love by waiting a few days. Because humans are weird and that's how it works. Oh, yes! <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't hesitate to ask me if you have any other questions about love, Inspector. Constable, I'll just be here helping to run this bookshop while my friend drives my car to Edinburgh. We're going to Edinburgh. He's trusting him. It took a lot of effort, but he's trusting him with his precious baby. That's quite sweet, honestly. That's a that's that's progress. This one's mine, you bastards. Oh. A strange time to be burying someone. I've got a spade. I don't think they're burying someone. I'll use it on you. <laughs> I like you. <laughs> anyway, I'll stop you. <laughs> oh, oh, he gets to do his Scottish, huh? Depending on your point of view. You say potato, I say excellent. My side are gonna love a spot of booty snatch. Oh, this is perfect! Allow me to introduce myself. Where would you like we have with your cops? Oh, that's wonderful. Oh my god, the cobbled streets of Edinburgh. That's I one of the reasons I love it. Young person. That's in the battle, Hen. Yeah. You didn't. Please tell me you didn't. Oh, she absolutely did. Nice, fresh body. It was just this once. There is a stolen body in that barrel. This is wicked. Oh, I'm down with the wicked. Oh, he's so in his element, isn't he? That is irrelevant. Look, she's so poor. That's rude. No, that's ineffable. 
ineffable. He said the thing. He said the thing. Angel, what are you doing? Nothing. Do you realize I could feel when you drive the Bentley under the speed limit? <laughs> oh, 30 miles an hour. Oh, you can. I can. So put your foot down. I don't mind. <laughs> Sorry. My car does not make that noise. What are you doing to it? Nothing. You've done something to the car, haven't you? I can feel it. I really don't know what you mean. Uh -huh. My car is not yellow. It has never been yellow. It is not going to start being yellow now. Change it back. But it's pretty. If you Let him it have it. Now, I'm going to start selling people books. In fact, I might even give some away. <gasps> <laughs> Their dynamic is so perfect. <gasps> Nessie! I knew Nessie was real. I knew it all along. Tell me the moment we learned anything. Oh, of course. Uh, it's annoying that Beelzebub has lots of flies and gross stuff around her because she's really pretty. Like, Jonathan, really pretty. It would just be nice if someone told you what a good job you're doing. Honestly, um, I don't remember. It seemed like a good idea when we were all talking about it. Um, so things will stay where you put them, not just drift off? Um, I don't like it any more than you do, Dr. McTrell. The trouble is, there are never enough murderers. Hmm. I'm sorry. Murderers get hanged. No one cares if we cut up murderers. Excellent idea. More murderers. I'll drink to that. But if you're in such dire need... Murder is one of those words I love hearing Scottish people say. Instead of making the poor and the desperate do it. Also, Scottish is my favorite accent as well. So this episode is making me very happy. What is your professional opinion? Aha. Hello there. Allow me to... General Aziraphale. I'm what's known as a newspaperman. Tell me, was this chap, by any chance, among those present? Listen, I serve hundreds of people a week. I'm not going to remember some... Well, yeah. <laughs> Aye, okay. I remember him. Was he a big high up or something? He certainly used I mean, to... yeah, you could say so. Big thumbs up for me. Ah, dig up as many bodies as you like. Having realized the error of my ways, I resolved to assist Elspeth and Wee Morag in their noble quest to decrease human suffering. Damn, let's go. Various lethal security devices in that graveyard. Ah! Oh, Obviously, the firing of the grave gun had alerted the local watchman. Well, that's not good. Oh my god, he literally sent them to hell. Might have slightly overdone it on the whole. Yeah! That was a deep pool. What are you... Oh. Well, that's just sad, isn't it? think Elspeth's taking we Morag to Mr. Dalrymple. But, but what? I should let her rot in the ground while I starve. Is that what you I mean, to be fair. Certainly not what we Morag would want. Oh, no. What are you doing with our poison? Fine. You're going to poison what him and steal the rest of his money? What are you going to spend it on? Gin? Wine? Hello, Elspeth. I'm 
so sorry about your friend. Oh, in the act. Need to die. Or toast her. Then I'm going. Need to use this money to bury me somewhere where no ghouls will ever dig me back up again. Going? Where are you going? To join the Morag. So can we toast her now? No, 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 no. What did you do that for? Don't kill yourself. <laughs> Constitution of an ox. Well, I don't need laudanum to kill oh, myself. No dying. Enough dying. No more dying. No more dying. Uh. Dying is just, is just, it's just wrong. Truly? Ah. Truly? Nah. Dash her like a goat. Nay. No flood of Scotland. <laughs> when will we see? Like this isn't even cruelly anymore. This is just David Tennant being himself. That convinces her. Anything, and then monsters like me come and dig you back up. I have to stop you there, Crowley. I. Crowley, what did he do? Why did? Where did he? Why? What did he turn into? <laughs> Dude, the fucking bagpipes. Oh my god. Uh, I think you overdid it, buddy. Stunning news. Crowley, there really is no need. You have sinned very bigly. Lying to kill yourself? It's not on! If you dare try to snuff yourself again, you are damned forever! Listen, if anybody out there needed a sign, this is your sign. Unless... How much have you got in your wallet? What am I going to do with 90 guineas? Buy a farm! And be good. Not just pretendy good, but properly good. I promise I will. Laudanum! Last time I knew that! Where are you? I'm, I'm here. I'm here. That was very kind of you, Crowley. You saved that young woman. Not kind. Off my head on laudanum. Well, they'll surely have noticed downstairs. You just did a very good deed indeed. Trust me, if hell noticed that little display, I'd already be... I'd already be... <laughs> Was the last I was to see of Crowley for quite some time. Aww. I hate to be a bother, but do either of you gentlemen happen to possess a mobile phone that I could use? Are you entirely out of your main mind? Uh, telephone, please. I don't have all day. I'm out of minutes. Mostly I just use it for Twitter. And grinder. Oh, that's very kind of you. Uh, now I'm afraid <laughs> I do need a little privacy. Hello. Um, I'd like you to call the telephone in my bookshop, please. Phone. Bless oh, him. Yes. Oh, it didn't actually work. Holy fuck! I thought he just didn't know how to use it. the books Bell's bookshop we probably don't have what you're looking for and we wouldn't sell it to you if we did I think I found some clues and do you remember the statue of Gabriel you haven't actually been selling any of the books have you not a one. Oh, good <laughs> no he's just throwing them around the place right. <clears throat> Bell. that's a proper clue isn't it oh listen I think it's about to happen the awning of a new age I'll see you when you get back Blessings be upon you. And your phone. Ah, he and fixed it. Grinder, whatever they happen to be. My phone. Don't lie, Aziravel, you know what grinder you is. The other way. No, whatever you did. Thank you. <laughs> okay, okay, Rain. I can do Rain. We don't have anything to talk about. I think we do. 
Come on, make it rain, make it rain. Don't go overboard with the rain, though. Decided I must be having an affair because I wasn't texting back and I just I couldn't deal. That's not fair. I mean, I've never well, we did it. It was the power going out. Come on, I'm leaving. I'd never, I'm not that kind of person. I know, I'm not your type. <laughs> oh, well. You have no idea. Oh, yes, it's working. I think it's fair Did they vavoom? Vavooming was not the end result of the tempest. <sighs> oh. There will come a tempest and darkness. Trigger word. And storms and the dead will leave their graves and walk the earth once more. And there will be great lamentations. Go on, boy. Every day it's getting closer. What are we talking about now? Where am I? What's happened to me? Uh. Stay here. Fuck. Don't open the door to anyone. Very closed. Oh God. Jack? Where are you? Excuse me. Do you know where? <laughs> You've got Gabriel hiding in the bookshop, haven't you, Chris? Sorry, mate. I'm a stranger here myself. Hello. Beelzebub's not happy with you. Oh, really? Beelzebub? Happy? But they're always such a little ray of sunshine. They seriously not happy. The Elzebub knows the angels hiding him in the Elzebub's uh they, huh? Because has this always been known? Because he isn't. I'm not playing these games. Maybe you'll spot an archangel. Hello, customer. <laughs> Eesh, that was a close one. You have no idea the trouble you're causing here. No. If any harm comes to us here, fell because of this, I will. Yes. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's too late for that now, isn't it? No! <laughs> oh, I love the Scottish version of the outro. Let's fucking go! Well, once again, another fun, another fun episode. Never fails to disappoint at this at this rate. Honestly, I really, really enjoyed. Uh, Crowley, especially in this episode, I think a lot of the stuff that happened with him was a lot of fun, like him shrinking down and then going huge. Him getting to hear him actually, like in you know, with his natural you know Scottish accent. Um, I just it was just another fun episode. Um. And then, you know, the little bit at the end where he's, you know, like, oh, if anything happens to Aziraphel, that's protective husband right there. My dude is protective. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what's going to happen when Aziraphel gets back from Edinburgh. Uh, I, I just hope that this doesn't end badly because they are starting to figure out that, that Gabriel is there and he's saying some weird ass shit and I don't know what's going on with him. Um, but yeah, and our, our lovely, uh, sapphics, uh, are being typical sapphics and not admitting their feelings and not understanding each other's feelings and, you know, it's just a whole lot of chaos, but that's just what we are. That's just what we do. Um, but yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I'm going to keep, I, I'm trying to sort of keep like the ending talks a little bit short and sweet because it is 1am and I'm trying to just get my way through this and sort of get it finished because now that i've started watching it i'm like i need to keep going and it's you know it's 1 20 a.m and i want to watch the last three episodes but that's gonna take like so long because they're such long episodes and, uh, we'll see what happens but anyway thank you guys for watching uh and dealing with my ramblings and yeah i'll see you guys in the episode next episode so peace and may the ineffable husbands be with you <laughs>